Hello guys, what is up? My name is Dan the Delight and today I'm bringing you an EAFC 24 Francois Coquelau player review. This is the Road to the Knockouts, um, 85 rated, got me Arsenal shirt on as he is an ex-Arsenal player, 5 foot 9, medium high on the work rates, 3 star skill moves, 4 star weak foot, right footed and controlled on the acceleration type. Squad builder challenge, um, some decent stats on there, so we'll just quickly see what other positions he can play. So he comes as a central midfielder, can play him as a right mid or a left mid, don't really know why you would, <laughs> but you can. Uh, so he's got 77 pace quite low but a lot higher than what his gold card had um, 72 shooting which again low but he's more of a defensive mid I don't know why you can't play him as a CDM he is generally a CDM I feel like in real life um, passing 82 is nice only 56 free kick accuracy bringing it down 88 short pass really really good 85 long pass 84 visions very nice as well 83 dribbling is pretty good um, only really the agility and balance are a little bit low on there but the rest is nice 83 defending this is why I don't know why you can't play central defensive mid with uh, 85 defensive awareness 84 standing tackle and 84 on the physical as well which is again really nice strength and aggression really high there um, and he has got one trait which we'll just see there and it is the slide tackle trait so all roads for me point to him being a cdm but for some reason you can play him as a cm rm or lm which i do not understand but there you go um so i'm gonna in this game it's sort of the very first game that i played against or with him sorry um and i invite a lot of pressure on to see what his defensive stuff's like to try and get his pass looking good just to test him out as much as possible so that's what we're going to be doing here try and get the ball to him as much as possible uh, not like that hopefully um, and yeah just see if we can get the ball get him an assist maybe or to sort of just test out his defensive because I feel like his defensive style is the side of things is going to be his key um, but we'll see I, I'm, I'm really not sure about this card to be honest like, his stats look good uh, and with some upgrades they really really will be good um, but just at the moment I'm not entirely sure how the card's going to play out so um, let's wait and see see uh, on that one I suppose so I don't know if he's quite small so and his head and accuracy is um, not the best on the card so I'm not expecting him to get up there for corners there you go you can see him sitting back there I've got control of him just now um, it didn't even get to him sadly I kind of wanted that to get to him just to see what his defense uh, would have been like there but unfortunately not really had much to do with him yet to be honest as I say, I always do play a few or well, five games before giving my overall verdict, which I will give at the end of the video. Um, this is, as I think I said already, the very first game that I'm using him in. So all very new to me here at this point of playing with him. Unfortunately, we go 1-0 down there. To be honest, I don't mind when I'm doing reviews. I don't really mind um, losing unless I'm reviewing a centre-back and then you don't want to be letting goals in. But for these sorts of like central mid uh <laughs> was going to say CDM that was a terrible terrible pass just felt really slow there trying to get the ball away um, from Kokolau and I think it might lead to a goal here yeah 2-0 uh, so that was actually directly Kokolau's fault really really slow he felt like when he was passing there so I don't know if that's reactions and again terrible pass um, but luckily that one didn't lead to a goal um, but yeah as I said uh, unless it's a centre back I don't really mind uh, letting in goals in, in a review of a more attacking player-ish um, apparently but he is still um, <laughs> a CDM in my mind but he apparently he's a CM in game I definitely wouldn't advise playing him right mid or left mid I think you're going to put some cards on him as well I think because where he can only play in central midfield I think you're going to need to put a pace card on him um, I also think that probably you're going to need to put a passing card on him I know, I know his passing is decent but it ain't the best um, so I think passing and pace um, you're looking for for the chemistry so I'd like not to be 3-0 down there not going to lie um but yeah, he has not really impressed me too much. Here he is on the ball again. Just feels quite sluggish. Like that turn in there didn't feel great. Try and get him up upfield a little bit more here. Um, oh. But yeah, just at the moment, all around feeling a little bit sluggish. Get a free kick there. He was actually in a very attacking position. He did make a good run through the middle. Uh, wasn't really ever going to get to to him, I don't think, because he ran way offside. Um, but it was a nice attempt not good dribbling there I mean it didn't manage to get anywhere his agility and balance I think is what's letting him down I, I think trying to put a finger on what's causing him to feel really slow and sluggish probably are those the agility and balance they're so important on FIFA or EAFC I'm still not used to it we're almost two weeks in still calling it FIFA um, but yeah I, th I think that's what it is it's the um, the the agility and balance is just making him feel all around a little bit sluggish which is a big shame because that's probably my pet peeve with players is what I, I really can't stand playing with um, luckily Odegaard's injured for him so that might help so I think that we've got Odegaard pretty much lining up against uh, Kokolau here he is on the ball good enough pass there I mean it's quite a straightforward pass that one 
would have been quite surprised if he didn't manage to make that uh, but still he made it so that's good um, his passing seems okay just slow um, I don't think that you can give this guy like tight balls I think that you need to give him a bit of room let's see although saying that that wasn't too bad um, he's making a decent run that's got a ball through to him and that's a really good pass actually great through ball to Nkuku can we get an assist I don't want to pass it because I would like to get front to our cockle out and assist uh, we get the corner Pro probably should have passed it a little bit earlier and probably would have got the goal there but trying to play for an assist there here is cockle with a corner in not the best of corners um, very near post and that was with quite a bit of power as well here I am though I'm going to control him see if we can get anything out of this um, exchange oh he's just been absolutely done there by an injured Odegaard um, I mean past versus present as far as Arsenal goes and present certainly winning terrible pass in the end from him but I guess Kukalau put on some good pressure there um, but yeah he got done he did catch up quite nicely I guess his pace probably is around the same as um, Odegaard's his, his um, road to the knockout pace so yeah not too surprising that he was managing to catch up to Odegaard um, but against a faster player he probably would have struggled there this guy is relentless. He's on an all-out attack. I don't actually went know where Kokolau is. That probably should have been 3-0. That guy should have done way better with that chance. Uh, but yeah, I'm not sure where Kokolau was there to even try and get a, a block in or a tackle in. He hasn't really... I don't know if he's actually made a successful tackle yet um, which is surprising considering his defensive stats are what they are um, but yeah I'm, I'm not entirely sure that I've actually seen one he's made some good passes though so we will give him that um, and his positioning is good like he's sit he does sit back a bit um, but if you I guess if you do like the old uh, L1 and pass then he does make runs forward but yeah I think his natural position is just to sit back a bit and, and I don't mind that um, but again it just screams CDM to me um, good Good in there by Stones. That's a great through ball there, though, for, to Madison. I mean, I, you know, Madison's doing all the work here, but to, to get the ball through to him was quite remarkable. Um, didn't really do anything with it. So well, let's end that there. Let's get into the actual in-game stats and compare them to how they felt in the games that we played. So 77 pace probably did feel about right. I mean, 77 is quite slow. Um, and, yeah, he didn't feel rapid or anything like that. But, you know, he, he didn't feel like 60 or anything. So, yeah, I'm not going to be able to increase or decrease the shooting. I didn't actually manage to have any shots with him, so we'll leave that at 72. 82 passing, you know what? I think we can probably increase that to an 84. He made some really nice through balls. I'm surprised that that curve is only at 75. And vision at 84 and the short pass. Yeah, 88 short pass is probably the, the standout there. Really, really good through balls. Dribbling, 83. I'm going to have to decrease that slightly. That agility and balance just felt really too sluggish for me. We'll bring that down to an 81. 83 defending is not too bad. Um, I mean, I didn't really notice that he did anything um, in, in turn. He was always in the right position, but he didn't really make any tackles himself. So I'll leave it at 83, but that could probably be decreased if I was being quite harsh. And 84 physical, I'll leave it at 84 as well. Again, I didn't really notice that he was getting pushed off the ball or anything like that. For a short guy, he's got, he's got good strength, and that's quite rare on, on EA's uh, FC. So, yeah, we'll leave that at 84. So, I mean, overall, not a bad card at all. He's not expensive to do, really, and he could get some nice boosts. I think he will... I if, if his team can get a couple of wins, they, this card can be looking nice. If that pace gets up to an 80, the defending hits like 85, 86. This will be a really nice card. For now, it's not bad, but uh, I won't be putting him on my team. But I will definitely be saving him and hopefully getting some boost with him and trying him again. So hopefully the video did help. If it did, please do give it a thumbs up. Hit the subscribe button for more videos like this. There will be a link in the description down below full of EAFC 24 player reviews. As always, guys, thank you for watching. Bye-bye.